Hey guys, it's Vadim with Max Tech, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing something that I have never done before, gaming on a foldable phone. Yes, this is the Galaxy Z Fold 3, and I am extremely excited for this because I'm gonna be playing games like Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, and League of Legends Wild Rift to see if there are any advantages to owning a foldable phone for gaming and how much better it is compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into Call of Duty Mobile. But first, I wanna quickly shout out our M1X chip design t-shirts, which you can check out in the merch shelf below this video. So just so I have a benchmark refresh in my brain, I'm gonna replay Call of Duty Mobile on my iPhone and then play it on the Galaxy Fold to see how big of a difference there is. And I do wanna mention that the Fold does support 120 hertz, but I am not gonna be playing in that refresh rate just so it's pretty fair between the two. But as we know, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is coming very soon and it is gonna be having 120 hertz. So keep that in mind. All right, so as we can see in the graphics settings, I have the frame rate set to max, graphics quality set to very high, and we're gonna match that on the Z Fold 3. Real-time shadows, we'll leave that on. Water reflections, ragdoll, whatever. Let's just turn this crazy stuff on. Actually, depth of field, no. Let's just do it like, like this, yeah. Gun game mosh pit, there you go. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that I've made the brightness on both of these phones equal at around 80% brightness. So they're matching just to see if there's any differences in maybe overheating or display dimming because we have experienced that before with the iPhone. Of course, we have the, oh. I was gonna say, we've got the notch. Woo! That is very annoying. Stews are everywhere, man. Woo! Get out of here, bro! I will survive, man! Oh, are you serious? Oh, still got him. Yeah, the notch is a little annoying, of course, but it is gonna be getting smaller, so keep that in mind. Dude, you guys suck! Oh. Oh, he got me! Oh, 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 oh. Easy. Oh! Oh, got him. Got him. And knife, last one. Oh, serious, bro? Okay, that, that was a bad kill cam. I couldn't let it happen like that. Aw, oh, man. Dude, I, whatever, I suck. That's fine. Oh, a little bit glitchy, I don't know why, but. All right, so far performance, perfectly smooth as we'd expect with the A13. At least towards the end, it kind of gets glitchy as soon as you kill someone with the kill cam. But hey, perfect performance, everything's great. No complaints with the iPhone, except obviously the notch, which is gonna get smaller, which is awesome. And with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the Z Fold 3 to see how the experience changes. All right, and here we are on the Z Fold 3, and man, that is a big, immersive, display and that's awesome how the aspect ratio at least in the ui is nice let's go ahead go to the graphics settings max out the frame rate graphics quality very high turn on these settings right here just like we did for the other one nice for some reason the quality seems like it's i don't know not perfect almost like it's kind of yeah it's definitely not sharp like the names aren't sharp interesting all right guys this is weird it almost seems like it's zoomed in because the quality does not look as good as the iphone Whoa, I feel like it moves differently. Kind of hard to explain. Let's see if I can still win though. Yeah, it's almost like the sensitivity of the display is kind of odd. Yeah, the way the like, the display moves is just kind of odd, man. I honestly like don't like it. Like the iPhone's display moves nicely, but this is just kind of weird. And the knife, and the knife. Well, I mean, I still did really well. <laughs> First place, totally owned everybody, but I feel like, I don't know if it's like the display 
protector film that's on here or just the uh, sensitivity. It feels kind of weird. Can't explain it, but man, this display is definitely immersive, but it kind of feels like the sides of the screen are kind of chopped off, almost like it crops in. So you can't really see as much. Yeah, see that? It's almost like it's cropping in, like these people should be fully in frame. But in terms of like seeing stuff on the screen, like this is so much more immersive. Like look at that, super immersive. And we do have that under display camera right there. Like you literally can barely tell right there. Yeah, so definitely more immersive, at least in Call of Duty. But the text is not that sharp. That's my one complaint. And I feel like it does crop in and it cuts out like your side vision which is annoying, but I mean, what do you expect? It's like a very square-ish aspect ratio. So let's go ahead and go back to the iPhone. All right, we're back on the iPhone. League of Legends Wild Rift right here. We're in the graphics settings. Let's go ahead and set it to performance, 60 FPS. That's for sure, we wanna do that. And I think that's the only change we really wanna make. Let's get into a game. Oh, I missed him. Get him, bros. Come on, man. Oh, 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 <laughs> I still got him though. Suck it. All right, so obviously no complaints with the iPhone 12 Pro Max so far. Perfect 60 FPS. I haven't noticed any drops at all. So no glitches, nothing. Dude, kill the Rift Hill, bro. Got it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, you suck, man. Get ripped! Oh no! <laughs> Honestly, I do feel like the display on the iPhone is a little bit limiting because, like, all the characters are pretty small, all the icons, everything have to be small, so it's definitely limiting in terms of the display size, even though. This is the 12 Pro Max, you know? You wouldn't really think about it. Woo! <laughs> you guys see that? <laughs> nice! <laughs> Woo! All right, am I cr Oh, Quadra kill! Oh, stop, all right, guys, this is it. Get him! Oh, it could've been a pet to kill, dude, are you kidding? All right, boys, let's go. It's our time to shine. Go, 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 quickly! Yeah. All right, we got to back up. I got to back up, that's for sure. Got him. We going for this guy? Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Boom. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. And I'm dead. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, this Ezreal is so good, man. Look at him. Oh, is he gonna, oh, is he? Dude, just pens to kill him, bro. You got it. Oh, oh, we won. There you go. I mean, the iPhone is pretty good for gaming. I've gotta admit, but I'm very excited to see how that massive screen on the Z Fold 3 is gonna be, so let's check it out. All right, guys, I'm very surprised and impressed by the scaling and aspect ratio, like in this game. Look, we got Garen right here, perfectly filling up the frame, all the UI, awesome for this more squarish aspect ratio. It's actually really nice, so, wow. Now, I'm in the graphics settings, and I'm gonna set it to the same performance, 60 FPS, as I did on the iPhone and let's go ahead and get into a game. And one thing I do want to mention is that the little crease in the folds display hasn't bothered me at all. I do kind of see it with the light reflection, but honestly, it still looks great. Super sharp UI controls feel great. Wow, this display, man, is colorful. Dude, this is too easy, man. Easy. <laughs> yes! This is so fun! Oh, chill, bro. Hey. Got him. 12 to 0 right now. This is too easy. Dude, 
Dude, how did you survive that? All right, now watch this. Watch this, guys. Oh, he killed him! Dude, that would have been a pentakill! 20 to zero? Not a single drop frame that I've seen so far. It's not overheating. Oh, dude, can I like run? Oh! Did you see the kill? Did you see? I just died. Get wrecked, bro. Good game. 30 kills to one death. Are you serious? Woo! We did it. That was fun. This phone is insane for this game. All right, here we are on the iPhone. I literally just got into the game and I noticed that it is already dimming. The screen literally dimmed as soon as I got into the game. That's what sucks about the iPhone 12 lineup. I don't know if it's the A14 ship or it's just this crazy game which is super graphics intensive, man. Compared to other games, it's, it's insane. But what I wanna show you guys is the graphics settings. So let's go over here. I don't even have everything maxed out, so let's just go highest. Current performance load is too high, which can lead to overheating, blah, blah, blah. It dimmed again. L guys, look how dark this display is and I'm literally feeling some drop frames now. That is not okay, like it is overheating. The display is pretty bright at like 80%, but still man, you shouldn't have to deal with this on a flagship iPhone. Like look at how dim I can feel the heat on this phone. It is insane, man. Wow. Boom! Oh, there you go, look, it just got brighter. Now let's see how long this will last. Honestly, I don't think it'll last long, but... Oh, look, it was kind of dim, because now it's a little brighter. That's interesting. Yeah, that's nice and bright. I am getting drop frames, just like you guys saw right there. All right, so while we did have some pretty bad dimming as soon as I turned this game on, over time, it did kind of recover, and now the display is looking nice and bright, even though the graphic settings are basically on the highest. So I'm pretty happy about that, but still, I did experience some frame drops and that crazy dimming. So now, let's go ahead and see how it runs on the Z Fold 3. All right, and here we are on the Z Fold 3. I've got the settings maxed out just like I had on the iPhone. And let's go ahead and check out how it does and if it dims or not. Woo! Oh! Yeah, so even with this aspect ratio, everything's perfect. I don't notice that hole punch at all. So they did a good job with that. UI feels great. Boom! Easy peasy, bro. No, seriously, no dimming. Pop! Pop! Then you go like this and go boop, 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 boop. Yeah, no issues at all. Everything works perfect. Yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So there you guys go, there was gaming on both of these phones and let's finish off with my conclusion. Well, for Call of Duty Mobile, I honestly preferred the iPhone because you get that widescreen view, you see more enemies on the sides compared to the Fold, which seems to kind of crop in and because of the squarish aspect ratio, you can't really see those enemies and like the touch sensitivity was being kind of weird, so I prefer the iPhone for that, but honestly, Everything other than that, especially League of Legends Wild Rift, that was amazing on the Fold because the text was sharp, everything looked beautiful, gameplay, no issues at all, and it was just so immersive. You don't have to deal with that notch, and the under display camera, I didn't even notice that little grid or anything at all. It was just such a good experience, and finally, 
for Genshin Impact, the iPhone had major thermal throttling issues where the display would dim down and it would overheat, causing a really bad gaming experience, but the Fold was perfect. No issues at all, no dimming, great performance, immersive display. So with that said, and with all that gaming done, I've got to say that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is now my favorite gaming phone ever. And I think I'm going to say that it's the best gaming phone ever made. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and click the circle button to subscribe. Definitely check out one of our shirts down in the merch shelf below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.